Hi, welcome to coding interview tutorial. Today I'm going to go over how to invert binary tree. So let's see the example here. If you have the binary tree like this, how will you invert this binary tree like this right side? Well, what is inverted binary tree? You can see the root node is same, but their children are swapped like 2 and 3, swapped like 3 and 2, and their children also came with their root, but the children also swapped like the 7, 6 from 6, 7, and the 4 and 5 swapped like 5 and 4. So how will you implement this one? And before you implement how, what is your algorithm to invert the binary tree? It is actually very simple. You just detach the edge like this. And you just swap the children's like this. Right side goes to the left side and the left side goes to the right side. And just attach the edge to this children. Simple. And then you go to the next step, children. So 6 and 7, we change this one also. Swap 7 and 6. So 7 goes to the left side and 6 goes to the right side. And just attach it. So 7 goes here and attach it. And lastly, 4 and 5, we just swap these two items also. So 4 goes to the right side and the 5 goes to the left side. And we just attach it. Now we checked every node and let's check if the left side is exactly same with the inverted tree here. You can see now we successfully inverted the binary tree. So let's implement this algorithm in Python now. So I'm going to go here and uh, I'm going to use this tree node as node in my tree and uh, here is my tree. So we have the sample tree 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 which is exactly the same with my example here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Okay, so now we have the tree and uh, let's implement the algorithm to, in, uh, to invert this tree. So we're going to call some function name invert tree with a sample tree here. So once you give this sample tree in invert tree, you are going to get only the root node, right? So let's implement our function name invert tree, def invert tree, and we get the root node here. And when, once you get the root node, you want to swap the left node and the right node, right? So node dot left and the node dot right. We want to swap it. Node dot right and the node dot left. This is a swap function. And then we want to go to the next children's, right? So invert tree with node dot left and invert tree node dot right. So we swap the left side children and the uh, left side child and the right side child and then we go to the next children and go to the next children recursively here and we just give the node. So that we have the inverted binary tree here. So here we have the inverted invert tree, inverted tree. Okay. And we want to stop this inverting when the, there is no children of the node. So if node is none, then we want to just return none. Okay, now looks fine. So we can shift enter here. There is no error. Shift enter here. Okay, there is error here. Name node is not defined. Okay, return node. Okay, here. I need to return the node, not the class itself. Okay, there is no error. So let's print and see if this import tree worked or not. Well, there are many ways to traverse the tree. I'm going to just print tree with pre-order. So I'm going to give the root here and uh, print root the bell, root the bell, and uh, go to the if root the left e exist, then uh, print tree root the left and uh, if root the right exists then the print tree root the right it is pre-order right so now let's run this print tree to see if 
uh, our invert tree function works well. So print tree with this inverted tree. Now you can see 1, 3, 7, 6, 2, 5. Let's see. 1, 3, 7, 6, 2, 5, 4 is same with uh, 1, 3, 7, 6, 2, 5, 4. Pre-order, right? So 1, 3, 6, 7, 6. 1, 3, 7, 6, 2, 5, 4 is exactly the same with here. Okay? So it looks like our algorithm and our code here works greatly fine. Okay, when you practice, you can go to my GitHub website here and download and you can improve as well. Well, the time complexity of this one is order n because we just go to the node and swap it. Also, space complexity is just order 1 because we just use one variable to swap it. Actually, if you see here, there is no temporary variable, but I believe the internally here, we use one temporary variable. So time complexity order n and uh, space complexity is order 1. Okay, thank you very much and I will see you on the next video.